All right, let's get started with a cool lighting tutorial in ZBrush. So what I'm referring to is if I go into light right here, how the heck does this thing work and, and what is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dock it over here. I'm going to grab this and just kind of drag it over here. And to get started, I'm just going to go to Lightbox and I'm going to grab something. It doesn't really matter what you grab. Uh, maybe I'll grab this demo head female. And um, I'm going to go over to Geometry and hit Divide a few times. There we go. And now, I so I have something in the scene. And on this light thing, you can see that if I move it around, nothing happens, um, at least right now. So I think a lot of people kind of get confused with what the heck is this light thing. I can see that there's also some light properties down here. I'm not going to get into any of that stuff. I'm just going to kind of talk about the basics here, how to add kind of some lights and what this thing's all about. So one thing that I want to point out is that if you use any of these materials, these matte cap materials, it's not going to work. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to grab a standard material down here. So if I go to like even a basic material, now when I move this, I'm actually moving the lighting. Okay, and what's cool is if I hit Alt while I click on here, it'll swap it to the back of the sphere. And now I'm kind of moving it so I can get some rim lighting, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and I could also increase my intensity right here. If I want to change the color of it, I could come in here and I could change the color. Okay. And if I want to add another light, I could simply just click on this and click it again to turn that light on. And now I can kind of come over here and you can see that I'm adding another light. It's really obvious to see when, when I have the different colors in there. Um, and when I move it, I can see that the lighting is, is pretty much staying in place. It's not moving it with the lighting okay again if I go back to my matte cap materials it's not you're not gonna see that so you know kinda of why would you ever want to do this well first of all let me go back to uh, something down here okay if I wanted if I change my mind I don't want that kinda of that rim light I could click on this and again and I can turn that one off and then I can click here here you can see that I can turn that off um, and now maybe I want um, a light here so a lot of times when I'm sculpting what I'll do is if I have it in a regular material I'll rotate it around to see how the form is looking okay and what I mean by that is is this center part not not the edge the silhouette but I feel like the center part how the, how it's the shape is coming along but if you have a matte cap you need to physically rotate it to kind of see that. If you switch to one of these, you can leave it in place and then you can kind of come here and you can kind of move this around to kind of see the form. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting take on that. So I feel like I kind of use it less, it's less about actual kind of rendering and lighting and more just kind of checking my form. Um, and I'm using the basic material, but really any of these should should really work. Um, I can see that here's toy plastic. So some of them are going to be kind of crazy, but you can kind of see how that's working there. Um, and again, you can have more than you know one material on it. I'm sorry, more than one light on it. And let's say I'm going to just switch this to just back to the basic material. Let's say if I got some lighting, um, I don't know, that I kind of like. I could hit the BPR render right here, and this is the best preview render, and it's going to kind of finalize it as far as, um, like, some shadows. You can see it looks actually pretty close here, and if I render this out, um, it just kind of corrects it and kind of thinks about it, so that would be kind of my final render. And if I wanted to save this, I could come up here to document and export here. Um, but again, I feel like I'm not really using this as lighting for the sake of rendering. It's more lighting for the sake of kind of helping with my modeling. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in comments below.